Hello, everyone, and thank you for jumping on our webinar today. Um, happy to have you with us. I have Austin here who will be doing the presentation of how to make payments. I also have Alexis who can help answer questions. So if anything pops up while we're going through this, feel free to type those questions in the Q&A section of the Teams menu. Um, we will be having more of these webinars each week, so be on the lookout. Uh, feel free to register for as many as you'd like. After each webinar, you will have the option to download the recording. That should be available in the calendar invite that you received when you uh, registered and, and completed. So um, from this point, we will turn it over to Austin and he's gonna take you through how to make payments out of Arbiter Game. Um, Austin, go for it. Hey everybody, I'm just gonna jump right in to making payments. Um, as you can see my screen up here on the payments tab, I'm going to first go over to accounts under payments. This is where you can actually link your Arbiter Pay account. You can click on link Arbiter Pay, put in the Arbiter Pay account username, choose paying account at the top on account type, and then hit search. Oh, sorry about that. Looks like it's loading real quick. You want to make sure that is your account number. Hit add account. It's going to ask you for your security four digit pin number. Once you have linked the account, it's going to show up right here. It'll show the amount of money you have in that account. Now I'll jump back over to the actual payments tab. And you will actually see that account number up at the right hand side. The money in the account will be there as well. So starting off at the top, you'll have different filters that you can choose from past seven days, past three months, last month, a couple different ones. Um, a lot of people do come in. They don't see the officials that should be showing on the, on certain dates, and it could be that they're on a wrong filter, maybe just showing the past seven days. So everybody's not pulling up. Um, I like to tell everybody keep it on the past three months. That usually gets everybody on there. Um, you do have the option to choose to filter by sport as well. We only have baseball on here right now, so it's the only one showing. Um, at the top, you'll see the filter types. You can actually come to the right hand side with the three boxes. You can um, choose how you want it filtered out, how it's displayed. You can change around different things, um, have it show from score, home team, you know, anything you'd like, build it out your way or you can just leave it as the default. Um, you do have the option to go over to the right hand side. You'll see the three dots. This is where you can approve and unapprove. If you have somebody in the account that approves games or approves that the officials were at the game, they can be added to the account as well. It'll show not approved until they actually come in. They can hit approve game and it will actually replace that not approved with their name. That's up to you guys if you want to use it or not. Um, they don't need to be approved to be paid. It's kind of an in-house thing. Um, you do have the option to change game fees as well. Oh, and sorry, let me jump back to the three dots real quick on the right hand side. Here is where you can, if you have an official that got paid by check or some other way other than Arbiter Pay, and you'd like them to be removed, they won't be removed from this page until you've removed them. You can click paid offline. If there is an official that didn't end up working the game, got replaced, didn't doesn't need to be paid or anything, you can just delete them from this page. I'll jump over to the left hand side. So if you come in, you see David Martin here twice, you know he worked the games. You want to make the payments, you can just check mark the box. Click make payment. It'll pull the total amount. Down here you can hit pay. And then you'll just need that four digit security pin to make that payment. Also on the left hand side, you'll see this box will not let me check mark. And it's because if it's not gonna, if it's grayed out and it's not gonna let you check mark the box to pay, it'll tell you right there that that payee does not have an Arbiter Pay account. That's when they would just have to go to arbitersports.com and sign up for an account. Same with the schools. If you guys don't have an Arbiter Pay account, you can go to arbiterpay.com. And at the top right hand side, sorry about that. 
get to arbiterpay.com real quick. Go to arbiterpay.com and you can click sign up today. And you can go through the instructions. If you're a school, you're going to school choose school. And if you're an if the officials will come in, they're just going to choose the first option. And then you'll go through and you'll fill out all the next steps. That's just on creating an Arbiter Pay account. Um, back over to the events payments tab. You also have payments history that you can choose. It's not showing anything up in here yet because we don't have any payments made, but you'll show your list of payments that you've made out fees in the payment history. You can download it and save it into like an Excel sheet and print it out if you need to just for documentation. Also, you have Simple Pay. This is where you can create your own transactions. If you're not paying somebody that was actually put on a game, they won't be in the payments tab over here. The assigner doesn't have them on a game. You can come over to Simple Pay, click the right hand check mark box, the green check mark box, put their first and last name right here and the amount. And you can click make payment. It's going to ask you for that security code, so security pin again. Anytime you make a transaction, it will ask for that four digit security pin. And the biggest thing with the payments tab is you just need to let your assigners know that they do what pulls this over from the assigners, putting them in on their side is they have your school as their home team put in on their games and they're using the correct bill twos. If they're doing all that, they'll flow over just fine. You should see everybody here. And that was basically it on making payments. Austin, can I have you go over to the reports tab? Yep. You also will have access to this reports tab. You'll see a lot of different ones you can run in here. When it comes to payments, the most accurate one to use is the payment details. You'll see once you click there that you can build out a specific date range. You can look at a specific sport. That report will show the day of the game, when it was, who worked it, and how much they were paid. So if you're trying to reconcile your, your balances, things like that, this is a great report to use. So as Austin said, that kind of wraps up uh, the payment side of Arbiter Game. Uh, we like to leave time at the end for questions. So if anybody has a question that they want answered, if they want to see something again, please put that in the Q&A section of this Teams meeting, and we will have somebody get right to it. As we're waiting for questions to come in, um, as I mentioned at the beginning, we are having multiple webinars each week. So if there is something you're looking to learn, if there is something that um, you want to touch up on, be on the lookout for those links to come through. We will be sending out registration forms each week, so you can sign up for as many as you need to. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to put in a, an email address that you can send requests to. If there's a topic that you want covered, um, send it to that email and we can look at adding that to a future webinar in, later down the yeah. road. So we had a couple questions come in. Uh, one person was asking, can we add the official if they are not on the payment screen? Um, you won't be able to add them to the exact payment screen. That has to be done on the assigner's end, but that's where using that simple pay option will come into play so that you're not having to wait for assigners to do that. You can go ahead and just complete that payment right away. So again, if you're not seeing somebody on this payment screen that you should be seeing, either contact your assigner and most likely it has something to do with the game that they set up. Maybe they're using the wrong bill to or a certain setting in their in their group. Otherwise, you can just come into simple pay and build that out yourself. Looks like we had someone ask about uh, linking Arbiter Pay. Austin, could you go to that one more time and kind of walk through that process? Yeah, so you'll just go into payments, the payments tab, go over to accounts. Let me unlink this account real quick. So I'll show you what it looks like when one's not linked. It's going to look like this. You just hit link Arbiter Pay account. You're just going to put the username to your Arbiter Pay account. You're going to choose account type, paying account, and you'll just hit search. And it should pull up your account number. You want to double check that it is the correct account number under your Arbiter Pay account. If it is, you hit add account, and you're just going to put in your four digit security pin, and you can find that on your Arbiter Pay account. 
Perfect. Thank you. All right, so we're still waiting for some questions to come through. Um, again, anything you guys want to see again or go a little bit more in depth to, definitely let us know. Um, otherwise, if, if you're feeling comfortable with everything, feel free to, to jump off. Um, thank you for jump, for joining this. We will have another one on making payments on Friday. So you, if you want to revisit this, feel free to register for that one as well. And then as we come out with more topics later on down the road, we'll be sure to send out those registration forms so that you guys have have the ability to join those. Looks like the questions are kind of slowing down, so we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Um, thank you again for everybody for jumping on. We really appreciate it. Like I said, if there are topics that you want covered, feel, feel free to uh, email that email address and uh, request those. We'll be sure to, to look at them and see which ones we can get added in. So thanks again for everybody jumping on. Um, hope everyone has a great rest of their week.